Hello friends, have you ever wondered how the pricing is done in different cloud providers whether it's AWS or Azure or GCP and why it is really important because you know when we are using cloud and we, we should be very clear about how the pricing is done otherwise we will end up into a situation where we will be getting a huge bill and we won't be able to you know, do anything on that because we need to have a clear picture on how the compute services or storage or whether data transfer different kind of you know, uh, resources which we use from cloud how that will be you know uh, charged so we will discuss uh, in detail in this tutorial like uh, how these uh, costing will be done and different kind of you know pay as you go or you know save when you use more and you know you also like pay less when you are using more so different kind of strategies which you can use based on AWS pricing so this will be specific for AWS uh, pricing so welcome to my channel and uh, we are back with another exciting tutorial and uh, this will be a continuation of AWS tutorial for beginners and you know you can refer this playlist so we are going to continue this series where we'll be having uh, different tutorials uh, where you will be able to learn about AWS so before I get started into the actual discussions, I would request you like if you are new to my channel or if you have not subscribed to my channel, kindly subscribe to my channel, click on the like button, share these uh, videos with your colleagues and friends so that they can also get helpful with these DevOps and other tutorials. So let's discuss about how this AWS pricing works, right? So uh, I told about a uh, compute. So what is the uh, different uh, scenarios we'll be using compute, right? And also that we are also going to talk about storage and also we are going to talk about data transfer. So these are the three main categories where your charging will be really impacted. Even though, you know, we'll use different kind of resources, different kind of, you know, things, uh, services from AWS. Most of all this uh, usage will end up into any of these three categories, whether it's based on the resource, uh, you know, we are using, which will come under compute resources or it can be some data storage so it can be coming under storage or it can be how much data you're transferring from through the internet like a, so that will be coming under data transfer so mostly you know all this uh, cost uh, the pricing which you, you know any resources or any service which you use from aws will end up into any of these things so when we talk about compute what did that means like when we create a service or when we use a, you know a computing so for example ec2 instance we are going to create a you know uh, a EC2 instance with you know this much of uh, CPU right maybe uh, two C CPUs and we may need like 16 uh, GB of RAM right and uh, we also uh, going to use this machine for maybe two hours one hour right so how this charging works is not just based on your resource like how much CPU and how much RAM you have uh, allocated for that system it's also based on how much time you have used right so if you are using for one hour, if you are using for two hours, so the cost will vary even though you allocated the same resources for that machine. So that there are two parts, right? So it's one part is for the how much resource you are allocating. So based on that, like if you have a system with uh, 2 GB of RAM and uh, you have another system with the 10 GB of RAM, both will not be the same cost because you are allocating and hardware uh, from you know the data center for it. So that definitely cost you. And also, you know, you are keeping it for a period of time. So that also cost you. So mostly from a computing side, whether it can be any services based on the computing resources, it will be based on, you know, uh, these kind of parameters. And from a storage perspective, like, you know, if whether it's an S3 storage or a block storage or different kind of storage where you're going to save some data, right? So that will be the charging will be based on how much quantity of data is stored. So whether it can be 5 GB or 500 GB or 1 terabyte. So it based on the G, you know, the quantity of data is stored that will be uh, charged uh, you know, from the storage perspective now another important topic is the data transfer so for example if you have you know an s3 storage and you're going to import some data into it so we are going to pull some data and it's going to put into the system so when we are importing you know that data transfer will not be charged uh, to you but more what happens you know if you want to access these data outside we, you're going to transfer this data outside again so in that time, you know, you're going to transfer the data out, so that will cost you. So the data transfer part also, like, you know, the usage from, you know, from AWS to outside. So that tr data transfer, the quantity of data transfer outside uh, come going out from AWS, it's going to cost you. So mostly, you know, when it comes to the costing of your uh, usage, you will have all these parameters added up and you'll get the billing, you know, of that AWS uh, 
your subscription how much you have used so uh, we will see you know how you can create cost planning and everything in the upcoming uh, tutorial but this one we I, I wanted to show you where you can identify you know how much it's going to cost you for each uh, services uh, you know how you can create a you know a plan or you, how you can create a pricing model like you know you can create a you know, uh, analysis like for this system how much it will go into cost you so you can evaluate that and you can create a costing plan so in order to get more details I, I will give you this reference link to the video description so you, AWS have a very good documentation part as well so if you see the AWS pricing part so uh, what we have to do is like you know we need to understand what kind of uh, pricing uh, we are using whether we are going to use pay as you go or it can be you know uh, the save as you commit means you know if you have a high demand and you know like you know or oh, you are going to use this uh, system for three years and you have you are committed to it then in that case you know you can specifically you know uh, procure and you can you know commit to the AWS that you will be using this system so in that case the the overall charge will be less as well and also other one is like if you are going to use more the charge will be less as well like if you are uh, keep on increasing the usage the overall uh, charging method will be also less so let's you know uh, go a little bit uh, you know uh, have a look on each one so if you see the pay as you go it's the normal procedure like you know if you use one system or one storage you will charge only for that at that point of time if you are increasing you like uh, you know the usage maybe next month you want to increase it for two you know easy to instance and you want to add another s3 storage and you might need to add some other kind of you know a cluster for kubernetes or something so all those things based on how much you are using uh, it will be uh, charged okay so uh, you know th that's how it is like you know based on the usage it will be charged to you so uh, when when we go to the next uh, one which AWS offer like say when you commit this is a more like you know a flexible pricing model like you know where uh, you know if you sign up some plan like one or three year contract or term you know where you can easily manage by taking the advantage and the performance so this is like you know you you know how much you're going to use your systems and you have a clear picture okay these systems you definitely want to use it like you know 10 systems for uh, three years continuously there will not be you no know, fluctuations like you, know, you will not use two system for two years one system for you know uh, one year so if you know there is no fluctuation you know clearly like how much you have a demand so based on that if you, you know uh, pre uh, do this uh, you know agreement with uh, AWS you will get a lot of uh, discount and you will uh, have to pay less now other one is like you know pay less when you are using more so basically cloud system how it works like you know if you most of the cases when you are using more resources the overall uh, charging model will be less for example they have given example like if you are using up to 50 terabyte of storage you will have to you know pay like 0 0.023 gb per month for uh, for you know, for uh, per gb right now for example if it's if you are going to use the storage more than 51 uh, 2 till 200 terabyte it has reduced from 0 0.023 it has changed to 0 0.022 gb per month Whereas in the if it's again increasing like if you are going to use more storage like 500 terabyte then it's again reduced like 0 0.021 GB per month right so the overall when you using more then it will be reduced so that's the concept they're saying then based on you how your uh, organization and how you want to make use of the AWS uh, pricing you need to have a clear picture okay whether you want to go for pay as you go or you know you have a commitment they you know like I will use this system for a different period of time or you know by this one basically you know it, it it's uh, based on how you much use now let's go to a uh, you know, little bit like free trial uh, trial you know uh, type you know which uh, you will have different uh, options services which are available for 12 months free some are always free uh, we will see about this you know a little bit later maybe you know uh, it's it's everybody knows like if you go to google and search like how how to create an aws free trial account you can go and create it but I, I want to talk about here like how we can identify you know different kind of pricing now if you go to you know storage uh, you know you can see different kind of storage here so Amazon simple storage right so if I go to that one how that charging model works so it, every service which you are going to use they have a clear definition on how this charging work right so here if you see you're going to pay for the storing object in s3 so it's completely based on how much data you're going to store so if you see this charging model like uh, till 50 terabyte it's uh, 0 0.023 you also have other methods 
so you can also see like you know uh, over 500 terabyte which we discussed like it's reduced you also have like s3 intelligent terrain you also have you know different kind of uh, zone frequent access so different kind of uh, usage they have clearly mentioned how much is the cost so based on that you should be able to calculate like for your uh, amazon uh, you know uh, clouds instances and services which you're running you should be able to have a, you know, a proposal or you, you should have a cost planning so that you know okay for this month this will be the charge for uh, your uh, cloud system now you can also see like aws free tariffs there for uh, s3 which is valid for 12 months and you know you have a limit like uh, there will be a limit of how much data it can be used as well okay you can use uh, uh, as a new customer receive 5 gb of uh, amazon s3 storage okay so uh, there is also something called aws pri pricing calculator which i will show you so that you, which you can use to create a proposal like how much is going to charge for a different kind of instance now if i open ec2 like you can again same thing like you can go to compute so you should be able to get the ec2 and you can open that so you'll get an idea like uh, what kind of uh, charging you have free tire again which is uh, you know includes 750 hours of linux and windows t2 micro instance so t2 micro is the one which you can use it for a free tire and it's valid for one year and 750 hours so that should be really good and now here also if you see the charging for ec2 instant so based on on demand okay so one is like based on on demand of instant like you pay for uh, what the computing you have used by hours and seconds right yeah. and another option one is called called sport instance so this one is basically like you know amazon you know they have a uh, the uh, data center and the resources a lot of things are shared right so there will be cases where a lot of hardwares and resources are not used so you can consider the, the spot instance options uh, what will amazon do is like there are some free uh, you know hardwares which, which they will allocate when you use spot instance but the challenge you know there would be you cannot you should not use this for production uh, systems because when there is actual requirement for some other system they will uh, take this back so you, your system will go off okay so that that's the case of uh, spot instant but it, this will be a very cheap as well okay so users with urgent computing needs all a large amount of additional capacity and it's uh, flexible at very low cost uh, computing prices okay and there are also like savings plans and dedicated host so dedicated host is something like you know mostly our um, uh, aws instance are, are like multi-tenant like you know we'll have other customers using the same hardware right so you may face some issues or you may feel like okay you don't have a control like how much uh, the systems are used utilize the performance and stuff so if you want to have a dedicated you know instances for hardware for your ec2 you can dedicately allocate that and that will charge you based on that okay so that also uh, other options and basically you know the charging is based on the billings and how much you are using like uh, how much is your you know the usage for uh, memories and cpu which you are allocated and how much duration and also this charging is based on the zones so different zones like if you are using your ec2 on uh, us east and us west or asia pacific each zones will have a different kind of charging as well so you can look into that when you create an instance where it's cheaper or what is the benefit like some of the system you may need to have in your region so you cannot have any other option so you'll have to go with that kind of uh, setup as well so that's uh, basically you know you you should go through this one to f identify you know what are the costing method for each uh, services and uh, this aws calculator you know pricing calculator is a very good uh, thing so you can click on this uh, create estimate where you should be able to create an estimate based on what kind of services which you want to deploy so you can select the region and you know in the region you can select which region so as i mentioned each region will have different kind of charging so you can select which one how you know uh, the low cost and you can also see you know what kind of uh, uh, resources you want to add so for example if you want to use uh, storage you can use uh, configure for this so you can see you know different kind of storage and you know you have to select what kind of storage it's s3 standard and the data transfer so you can see how much gb you are planning like if you put like 5 gb per month and uh, different kind of uh, parameters you can give like how much data transfer you are expecting and all those things and once you give it you can add to the service you should get you know how much is the cost so you should see that it's showing you know, uh, 1.44 usd per month so you can see the summary so for that uh, s3 storage of that usage what we have defined you should you should get an estimate of 1.44 usd you know for, for that 
so the monthly cost is like 0.12 USD this is for overall one year so basically the same way you know you can edit and you can add you know uh, more uh, resources as well like if you want to add another service you can come here and you can also add like EC2 so I will also add this so let's add this and you uh, EC2 also you should you know every service you should be able to select what kind of uh, you know configuration you want you want to share dedicated or you know you whether you want to have a Linux or Windows different kind of instance and you know different kind of workloads what are, how many number of instance you want well, you know what kind of uh, family like, like how much uh, CPUs so you want to have four CPUs uh, you know four gigs so different kind of you know uh, things you have to configure so you can see like different kind of instances and you also need to have uh, select you know whether you uh, no, uh, there you can select or you can select the instance from here like whether it's a t2 micro or different kind of instance so uh, you know if you just use this one then that will automatically apply those settings and you can uh, select you know whether you want to have a different kind of plan three years plan or instance saving or on demand or as I mentioned the sport instance uh, as well so if you select this one you know uh, uh, basically you know uh, what kind of configuration which is needed for your usage you can select this and you can add that service into the you know, uh, thing so and if you see the summary you can see it's completely changed so one year now it's almost like uh, 100 and uh, 200 uh, 1200 uh, usd right so you can see this um, uh, simple storage s3 is only very minimal whereas ec2 is taking a little bit higher monthly cost right so that's how you know this estimate uh, pricing calculator will help you to get a clear picture on how much is your estimate and how much is going to cost you before you know you can build up your uh, systems as well so that is all for this uh, tutorial i just want to show you like how this aws pricing works uh, so definitely you know if you are getting into cloud you should have a clear picture on how the computing uh, storage data transfer costing works you should have a clear uh, look up on you know how this ch charging and how much is the monthly cost building coming up otherwise you'll get into a lot of trouble and uh, you'll be getting into a lot of uh, cost and which will go out of your uh, plan so that's all for this tutorial and uh, thank you for watching and if you are new to my channel or if you have not subscribed to my channel i would request you to click on the subscribe button also like my video share and uh, give your uh, feedback in the comment section